This is Good Morning Greece with Adam the Drum God and Willocles. Hello, folks. This is Adam, your Drum God, speaking. And Jacocles. Yes, yes, nobody cares. We have more incoming news about Zeus and all of his mistresses. But first, should we look at the weather? Yeah. According to Helios, he won't be driving today. However, his son, Pathan is willing to take his place. Breaking news! Jason has just come back with the Golden Fleece! Thank you, Iris. According to our sources, Jason and his band of heroes have finally reached shore after sailing on the Argo for what has been months. It all started when a man named Peleus had overthrown the father of Jason, who was the king of Greece. He had been told by an oracle that a man with a single sandal would kill him and take over his kingdom. One day, this man did come. He had come up to Peleus and had asked him for his rightful throne. Peleus had agreed. However, he would only allow Jason to take it if he had found the Golden Fleece. This fleece was to be found in the country of Colchis, where fierce people, stated by our dear friend Edith Hamilton, had inhabited, ruled by King Aedes. So, Jason had set sail on the Argo, with the help of Hercules, Orpheus, Castor, Polyux, Peleus, and many others. On their journey, they had encountered harpies, simple gates, and Amazons as they reached Colchis. What exactly happened when they arrived at Colchis? Cupid? Well, my mother Aphrodite promised to give me a shiny gold ball if I made the princess of Colchis, Medea, fall in love with Jason, so I shot an arrow into her heart. Apparently, Medea had magical powers, and she had helped Jason succeed in the trials her father, Aedes, had given him in order to achieve the Golden Fleece. These tasks included yoking two bulls with bronze feet and breath of fire, and to make them plow a field, and also killing some dragon teeth men. When he had completed the task, however, Aedes would not let him take the fleece. So, Media had taken it and ran off with Jason and the Argonauts. After encountering many dangers, such as the whirlpool of Cherubids and Talus, the last bronze man on Earth, the Argonauts had finally made it back to Greece. More incoming news! Peleus has just been slain! Well, According to this message we have just received by Hermes, Peleus was just killed by his daughters! Well, isn't that interesting? Before we leave, here is our daily message from the Fates today. Yes, yes, and here is what they had said. There is no such thing as free will. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Oh well. Goodbye, folks! Goodbye.